Hey guys, it's Paul, Darcy Film Fighters. Welcome back for part three of the uh, Supernova Jet Project. As we just left off the plane in the last build video, we had about 95% done. I had almost all of the taping done. I just needed to finish the canopy and a few other minor details. But it was finished enough to basically get it out last Sunday to uh, Herman Airport and do some uh, maiden flights of it. So let's get into the video of the maiden flights and uh, see how it all went. Okay guys, hey, I got the Supernova. It's about... I don't know, about 95% done. I still got to finish some of the taping and complete the cockpit. Uh, I was getting ready to fly it a minute ago, but I burned up the uh, other cheap ESC I had. So Frank's let me use the one off his Sparrow plane. Uh, hopefully this works out good. So this is going to be the main flight. See how it goes. Yep. Like what? I can't even see it in the camera, man. Damn, this thing's yeah. howling already, dude. Damn, Paul. <laughs> that thing's crazy. It looks like it flies like your other one, man. Push. That was a hundred mile an hour pass, dude. I can't tell if I got you on camera That's or not, dude. Quarter throttle right there. <laughs> get on the film. Get, get it. Who's got the radar gun, man? I got it. Okay, ready. Do a level. That was it, into the wind. Are those new batteries too? Yeah. Dang, dude, that thing looks yeah. crazy, yeah. man. And it still maneuvers like mad too, man. <laughs> thing flies pretty much like Hey, I'm one, just dude. kind of pointing the camera, man, because I can't. You want knife for you? You can't see it, Tom. That was 130. 130! It's total crazy vertical, man. And it's nice size. You can see it really good still. It flies pretty much like the other uh, Nova Jet. This is awesome. Sweet, man. Listen to that roar, man. <laughs> and it's just coasting. <laughs> he flies just straight out. Yeah. All right, man. We need a nice, good speed pass. Right over our head. <laughs> One thirty. Oh, uh, I think you might want to prop down, Paul. It sounds like the motor might not be winding up all the way. Yeah. You might try a seven six on there. Jeez, you go down like... <laughs> Thing looks like it flies awesome, yeah. man. It does. Yeah, it looks like it's real solid. It's pretty much just like the other one. Dang, man, that thing's got some crazy vertical, dude. This thing flies awesome, dude. It's just like the other Nova Jet. I don't know, that blue, though, against the sky, you can't see it on yeah, the camera at all, dude. See how slow I can fly it, too. See if it's still got the good flight characteristics. It's got a wicked howl. Yeah, that's yeah, the uh, thrust plate on the back. Yeah. yeah. It probably creates extra drag, but I just love the way that sounds, and it makes the plane so much more steady. Even though it's a little fast. Okay. Yeah, that was, oh. Looks like I was wiggling a bit. Yeah, that's part of the wind. Well, this thing's got real small vertical stabilizers. That, and it's a little bit windy out, yeah, too. Yeah, at slower speeds, it does do a little wiggle. Yeah. thing cruises, yeah. though, man. Yeah. I like this See, which way is it? Well, the wind's coming from the other side. You're right? going into the wind now. Yeah, okay. Let me go out there and I'll just give it, try and get another love tap there. I hope this thing's picking it up, man, because I'm just pointing the camera, dude. I can't see even with the blocks on here. I think it's too fast. Uh, I think the battery's dying. Okay, I'm going to bring it in. Dang. These are new batteries, so... Yeah, you lost think, battery already, yeah, man? Yeah, I think so. All right, yeah, at least I'll you're coming in, in head to win. All right, everybody clear the area. Yeah. Don't land on the concrete, man. <laughs> Dang, listen to that roar, dude. That's awesome. 
Oh. Oh. oh, it's got oh. weight, man. Oh, it just keeps okay. going. Cool, that was a successful uh, maiden flight. Thanks to Frank letting me use his ESC. Um, I think those batteries are still real fresh, so we're just not getting uh, totally up to speed. But John clocked it at about 130 miles an hour. Um, it should, uh, hopefully, it'll pick up a little more speed once the battery just cycles a little more. And I might experiment with the props. A yeah, bit. I think if you prop down a little, you might get more. It RPM. does probably have a lot of drag, so I don't think this one's going to be a super, super fast plane. But dude, it looked uh, like it was still pretty yeah, mean it's, fast. It's man. pretty fast, and it's, it flies almost just like the old Nova Jet. So I'm really happy about that. That's yeah, that awesome. thing had some crazy vertical. Yeah. Um, this is actually the second flight. I did one flight already, and it flew at about 131 miles an hour with the 7.8 prop. I've got the 7.6 prop on this time, so we're going to see what it can do. Check that out, Jimmy, get Doppler on. Oh. <laughs> Look at that crazy. That thing flies like the first yeah, like like drop. still got a track in this thing. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to bring her in. Yeah. It's hard to see in. Oi, 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 oi. Where am I? The prop is down. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, hey, Tom. Okay guys, that was with the 7.6 prop. It uh, looks like it only clocked out at about 125 miles an hour. I think that was the best, Frank? Yeah, 125. Was 125. So I think it was a little faster with the 7.8. But um, these batteries are still new. We have to cycle them a couple times and it'll probably pick up a little bit of speed. Um, I think it does have, you know, a little bit of, quite a bit of drag. So it's not going to be as quick as some of the other speed planes that Frank and Jocks are building. But uh, so far I'm pretty happy with it. It flies great. It um, flies pretty much just like the original Nova Jet. It's very controllable, very docile. and. Uh, very locked in, so I'm really happy. Love it. You call that docile, man? That thing right. was spinning like a top. Agile, you you mean guess. controllable? <laughs> controllable, but I very, very maneuverable. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed all the uh, flight video out there at Herman Airport. This plane definitely proved to be a very good flyer, just like the original smaller version. So I was really happily impressed with the, uh, the way it performed. It really can, you know, even at high speeds, do some crazy tight turns you know I was going up at the top of them uh, uh, high arches when I was going way up and it just flipped right back over and uh, turn around and it's very uh, manageable very steady and straight in flight uh, I think this is really still one of my best uh, designs that I've come up so far I really like the way it flies it's real agile uh, it's really locked in flight and I just love the uh, roar it makes as it's zooming by so it's a pretty awesome plane we're gonna be doing more video of it in the future uh, I still got to complete the canopy like I said so I'll show more of that in a, a more of a construction video and um, I still got to get my own ESC my other ESC burnt up when I was doing the testing I did a spike and that cheap ESC I had it just burned up so I'm gonna order another turnage one as soon as they get those back in stock at uh, Hobby City and I'll be uh, adding one just like Frank let me borrow here off his Sparrow um, basically the uh, speed readings went pretty good it was um, probably right around where I was hoping it to be it was getting clocked at about 130 miles an hour with the radar gun and I did a couple preliminary uh, checks on the uh, Doppler sound uh, program where you can check how fast it was going by sound waves um, that you take off the video. And that was checking in at about 141 miles an hour um, at the top speed. So it's pretty quick. I think it'll probably pick up a little bit more speed too as we uh, cycle the batteries a couple times because they are brand new batteries. That was the very first time they were run. So uh, look forward to more of this plane coming in, uh, in the future. And also I'll be working on plans uh, to um, give out and distribute to you guys once I get it all finished up. 
Okay guys, well that'll pretty much complete part three of the Supernova Jet project. Um, look forward to uh, part four and maybe more on the Supernova Jet as I uh, finish out the rest of the build with the canopy and the taping. And I'm going to be doing some more speed tests. I plan on going out there, I'm going to do a radar gun test. And I also bought one of the uh, Eagle Tree um, airspeed uh, modules. It's got a little pitot tube that'll measure airspeed. And I'm also going to do some more uh, Doppler sound checks with, for the speed ratings. And uh, we're going to compare them all and just see how fast the plane is going. But also we're going to see how good it does in slow flight and uh, just basic maneuverability after it's all completed. So again, stay tuned. Uh, there'll be much more coming out on the Supernova Jet. Man, man.